get to our next guest. He's joining us uh, at the table to talk about the impact that higher rates are having on American consumers and businesses. And on that note, Minneapolis uh, Fed President Neil Kashkari indicating in the Wall Street Journal just yesterday that he's not convinced rate hikes are over. I uh, want to welcome John Hope Bryan. He's Operation Hope's chairman and CEO. What's going to happen if we have more rate hikes? Uh, well, people are going to have to figure out what to do with too, when you got too much month at the end of your money. Uh, you have 70 percent of this country that was living from paycheck to paycheck before the pandemic. Half of those who make $100,000 a year. This used to be a so-called poor person's, a working person's problem. Now financial literacy is an American problem. Half of those making $100,000 a year, Andrew, paycheck to paycheck. Now, now let me, hit, let me hit, hit home. You're in Manhattan. You make a quarter million dollars a year. You let a third of those are living from paycheck to paycheck. So financial literacy is not going to be a bomb right. that solves everything, but it would have allowed us to take a spin and make it an investment during the pandemic because those, those trillions of dollars are not coming back anytime soon. Part of what we're dealing now is washing away that or paying off of all that stimulus, right. those stimulus payments, some of which were overdone, probably $2 trillion. How, how do you think, though, about this <clears throat> issue of balancing employment or unemployment uh, with inflation? Right now, I mean, this is, this is the central question the Fed has to deal with, but it's also the question that the economy has to deal with. And frankly, as we enter an election year, it becomes a political issue. Yeah. So, the, of course, Fed speak and political speaks are, are two different conversations. Uh, that's why certain. Senators, but what's the on the ground speak? Then? The on the ground speak is where, where I was yesterday at Forbes Black, where you had a absolute packed uh, room of uh, of entrepreneurs, packed black entrepreneurs. Uh, trying to get access to opportunity for themselves to build, to create jobs. So, you can, so yes, you can have a conversation of do I, ca do I cash a check, employment, or wow, do I write one? And what we found coming out of the pandemic is you have the largest uptick of small business starts since 20, I think 2004, I think the number is. The largest group, Andrew, overall were black businesses, and the largest group of all businesses were black women. So, so, yes, you, you have this traditional conversation of, you know, yes, in order to balance this, you've got to have a certain level of unemployment. What we're not talking about is the magic of America, and that is small business creation. Right, and, and it's too bad that, <coughs> that some policy mistakes may have uh, helped make inflation worse, and the people that, that have to deal with the higher interest rates are the people that can least afford to deal with the higher interest rates a lot of times. And it can be inflationary, housing costs. Uh, not being able to start a small business because it costs too much. Not be, I mean, it, it, there are consequences to taming inflation for everybody else that, that it, you know, that affect some people more than others. So we can have we, two things can be true at the same time. So what you just said is, of course, true. The higher costs, the, the higher interest rates are putting a, a, a pinch on people. I mean, we've seen a 38 percent increase in operational clients for counseling this year. We've seen a 43 percent increase in counseling sessions, there, so almost 50 percent right. uh, year over year. People coming up with counseling, and these are middle class folks, not just. And these are folks trying to deal with credit card debt. They're trying to deal with getting yeah. a mortgage. I mean, right now, getting a mortgage is obviously at buying a, buying a home, first time buying a home yeah. out the gate, is a very complicated situation and a very expensive situation. Yes. Well, as you know, if you look at historic interest rates, actually today it's not so bad. It's actually. Pretty, right. Pretty, but, I don't but, disagree with you, but tell, them, been, tell the person who had the rate two years ago. We are telling that person. We're, we're counseling them. And by the way, there are options for certain people that they just don't know about, like the Community Reinvestment Act, which is $500, trillion, $500 billion a year, which does allow, if you, quali if you get financial counseling from us, et cetera, you, get some, you have a shot at under market rates. Uh, it's still, you know, it's a market. It's, it's a, it's not a giveaway. You got to pay the loan, the loan back, all that stuff. But it's under for, market. For a business or for a home? These are actually for both. For Com Community Reinvestment Act <laughs> is uh, 500 billion dollars a year. It's a capital stack nobody thinks about. Mm -hmm. uh, FDIC insured banks. It's mortgages. It's small businesses. And if you do, if you are in low to moderate income communities, black, white, red, brown, yellow, doesn't matter. And if you do certain things like financial literacy, you can access a, a slightly lower rate, uh, Joe, which. Uh, which speaks to the, the comment that you made. Now, uh, the reality is that we had free money for, we don't, you know, you guys do this all the time. You don't need to say this. Free money for almost, you know, 15 years. We had to get out of that. And I think the pandemic was an excuse, frankly, for the Fed to, to do a, a reset and try to get, get this place uh, normalized because I don't think that was sustainable. And uh, because we're a consumer spending economy, that hits uh, at the average person, which is my client, I'm, just, I'm seeing this, bell bet, this barbell effect. On the one hand, more counseling sessions. 
And we're, we're the counselor now for UPS employees, for Delta Airlines employees. I was on the plane last night. All the people on the plane who work for Delta have, are in my counseling sessions. So that's a positive that because of this, they're becoming more financially literate. Uh, on the other hand, people are dealing with very real realities of what bill do I pay? What today. do you think the cash? So what's the cash uh, situation? And, and they're starting businesses and trying to find more uh, uh, opportunities. What are way. cash balances like, like right now? Oh, they're negative. Uh, in low to moderate income households, they're negative cash value. That's why the that's why you see. And seeing how the, different is that than costs. how you think it was twelve months ago, eighteen months ago, twenty-four oh, months ago? Day. Nine day. Nine, nine day. Because you were living, uh, you had the stimulus money, right. and unfortunately, when you're financially illiterate, you think this is going to last forever. Right. And, and we're not talking about poor people here. We're talking about right. average everyday people who live present in the moment. Uh, so you, again, you have you, you have now an opportunity to make. Here's the good news. We, you, I've been coming on your show for a long time saying this. I'm not sure it resonated before. Financial literacy is a civil rights issue of this generation. Mm. When I say that now, everybody is understanding. So we're in corporations doing it with employees. Uh, Harley Davidson, Venetian Hotel, you name it. We're in, uh, we have a big one coming. I can't Me and Doug McMillan of Walmart, co-chairing financial literacy for all, getting this in the Fortune 500s. They see this like, they, they see this as what healthcare was 45 years ago. What about people who don't work for those major companies? How do they get access to this? Oh, uh, they can just call us uh, because the sponsors for Opera Show pay, makes, makes our services free for the average uh, person. So literally anybody watching this can go download the Hope and Hand app or just call us and get free coach. We're like a private banker right. for the working class. We're raising credit scores 54 points in six months, Becky. We're lowering debt $3,800 for somebody making $48,000 a year. Increasing savings $1,500, which makes that person are, bankable. Are you suggesting that people?